It was 35 years ago that the late great Nicky Lauda took his 25th and final Grand Prix win here at Zandvoort. He came from 10th on the grid to beat his McLaren teammate Alain Prost by just two tenths of a second. Well, Zandvoort is a very different circuit today, of course, but still one with an incredible legacy. And we're going to add to that. Welcome along to the 2020 Dutch Grand Prix. Zandvoort circuit, 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout a 2.6 mile lap. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Why don't we start by talking about Valtteri Bo Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Iceman, Valtteri Bottas and Perez, Leclerc, Albon, Stroll and Lando Norris. Ricardo, Magnussen, Pierre Gasly, and Raikkonen, Kvyat, Ocon, George Russell, and Roman Grosjean, Latifi, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. Which of the... Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. Today, we're at the Netherlands Grand Prix. I've never actually driven, well, I never actually raced this Grand Prix uh, in an F1 car until, I guess, today for practice. I have played the circuit with uh, GT3 cars, though, so I was a little bit familiar. Just need to get a few adjustments. Uh, we did qualify pretty well, which wasn't too bad. I was kind of surprised by that. So, with our strategy, it says we should be doing 12 on softs and 24 on hards. Well, well, I guess might as well just get it right into it. Uh, okay, let's... It's not terrible, stay focused. will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone.
We lost the position. Try to keep focus. Job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Gap to teammate behind is 6.9 seconds. Charge is high. Let's use that overtake button more. on the exit. Release, release. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound.
pits. Commando in the pits. Just fitted the hard tires, car behind, running hards. It's a new fastest lap of the race. We're leading our teammate by 17.7 seconds. Plus one lap of extra fuel, fuel target plus one.
the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. There's 19 laps of fuel remaining. overtake and burn some of this energy. Ooh, damn, 114.9. Another fastest lap, god damn. Just learning. Learning this track. Yeah, being smooth is what really helps. I'm knowing the track, knowing the braking zone, knowing the lines. And then, of course. Uh, being really smooth and not being extremely jerky with the throttle and the brake. That definitely helps. It's crazy though how like... I wasn't able to... I could barely keep up the first race. Then, like, I didn't do DNF, and I was like, okay, some races I'm better, some races I'm not. Three laps of fuel remaining. Some races I'm just really bad at. And, like, this one. It's just so much better. I want to say this one is just like, I had a lot, I had a bit more practice on this, this circuit here. Um, and also, well, I did play a bunch of us at a Corsa uh, on this circuit itself with full simulation and everything, so this wheel so maybe that helped me a little bit of understanding this track and the elevation changes and how to control the car a bit better I still make mistakes like that, like that corner. Tires are slowly going. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. How unfortunate would it be just to get like a flat? 
<laughs> Man, what's it called? Uh, Mid lap. Like that. Getting a little bit too comfortable in those curbs. the leg oh my god the leg spikes what is going on what a race what an absolute perfect race what a perfect race oh. stuff from McLaren today what a superb victory Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still that was so good. controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Our winning leg drivers dog. are on their way to the podium right now. It's Woo, been a fantastic first podium. race for McLaren, that's for sure. And no doubt they'll be celebrating tonight. Oh, that is awesome. Stuck with it. Stuck with it. Practice hard. Just, you know, hunker down and get so those then, times it's in. It's time to see how this result affects the drivers' championship. Oh, no. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to Iceman. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. It's time to check out the Constructors' standards. Oh, Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Norris, Thanks nine. to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Oh, man, that was so good. Started fourth, worked push, push, but a few little sketchy moves here and there, especially in Sebastian Vettel, Lewis Hamilton there at the end. Uh, but that worked out well. Place first. We weren't that far off with uh, Sebastian Vettel. We were, we were two tenths, two tenths up from Sebastian Vettel. So both of us were up there. And then uh, Bottas was 15. Yeah, it was two tenths between me and Vettel, and then two tenths from uh, Vettel and uh, Hamilton Leclerc did 12. Yeah, he's very close, so very, very tight. Just was able to hunker down and figure and go on that, so swift, sick. So Valtteri Bottas, Lewis Hamilton, myself, third. It's not too bad. A rookie in, in third place at the moment. I cannot complain. McLaren, third. That's good. We moved up. Looking really well. Now let's go through our interview what do we have to say great work out there today let's have your thoughts if you took the top points today was it a comfortable win <sighs> uh, there was a lot of good downfalls which was a fantastic car the engine the team has been amazing it really was but i couldn't have done it without my team behind me it was this car just solid so i can take whatever i give it that you were cutting your way through the field during the race. Uh, how much grub as we did? Mm, yeah, the car handled really well, so chassis department. Well, looks like your luck has changed. Things went a lot better than last weekend, didn't they? We made some tweaks to the chassis and seems to be paying off. Reliability has been our focus since last weekend. It's paid off. Uh. Mm, reliability. 
Now we kind of have everything. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? Maybe they should expect more. <laughs> standard, standard racing from all drivers has been high this season. They're all putting extreme amount of effort. Yeah. Great. Well, that's everything. Thank you. Well, that calls it. I think that's called that an end of an episode. We did an awesome, awesome, awesome race. Uh, qualified not too bad. We finished first. But you know what? I'm quite happy with that. So let's end this episode here. And we'll see you guys next time.